Hey guys, it's a beautiful day in the north today. It is June 21st, 2024. It's actually uh, Aboriginal Day, Abu Day here in Canada. So it's actually a holiday. So I figured what better, better thing to do for the weekend, come out to the cabin and do some work on it. The last time I was out here was May 5th. I was out here for five days. Did a bunch of work, got the front door installed. We changed out that old busted oak door, the original one that was on here. So that window, it's a lot brighter inside the cabin now. On the back here, the chicken that flew through my window last winter. Hey guys, beautiful day in the north today. I tell you the date today, March 30th, 2024, plus five degrees Celsius. Beautiful day and it's melting. It is slight overcast today ask for a nicer day so i'm just out with uh my father here we're just checking up on things around camp possibly one of the last trips on a screw this year our snow is melting and it's melting quick so uh me and dad there we went out checked up on beaver camp grabbed a few things from there just to see what we need to fix the place up you know do the bear damage and we're coming back and dad just says what happened here anyways i didn't know which window he was talking about i thought it was the small one on the other side I had changed out from a bear and he said oh it looks like looks like chicken he said I looked I said oh Jesus that wasn't there how the hell did I not see that this morning so uh so anyways we I go inside to do a little investigating <laughs> and sure as shit the fucking gross rough gross he's still warm too uh so for the little bit of time that I was gone, he, uh, you know, three hours probably, he uh, came down the trail and smashed that window right out. There was only one pane there, but so. Anyways, you know, it kind of brings back uh, from a long time ago, something like this happened. Remember that, Dad? I do remember. <laughs> tell the story, tell the story. I was making coffee in the morning in our other little shack there and... Uh... All of a sudden, the window exploded in front of me, and something hit me in the chest and knocked me right to the floor. And I thought somebody shot me. <laughs> anyway, turned around that uh, there was a chicken sitting right beside me, hind feet just to kick, and it looked just like that guy. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> hell of a surprise first thing in the morning. So Dad caught right onto that. He seen that hole in that window, and well, it looked like chicken, and and he was right. It was definitely a chicken. He was uh, he was laying down by the wood stove there, and anyways, he's still good. I'll eat him for supper. You know, uh, at least I get a meal out of that. Anyways, fresh gross for supper. Right now, I got uh, some boards. I'll just cut a board, repair my window for now, and uh, yeah, I'll have to replace this out. I got a bigger window. I'm gonna haul out and replace it. So I'll be a little bit of pissing around because obviously the the cutout for the window is smaller than the window I have, so a little bit of chainsaw work, and I'll get that fixed right up. You've been, you've been talking about doing that window now for, what, about two years? So oh, Matt, yeah. Now you have to. Yeah, no, I, hey, Dad's ab absolutely <laughs> right. I've been seeing how it was always a single pane of glass. You know, it always, a lot of cold air came in, and it was always fogged up, and like, I'm going to change the window, I'm going to change the window, and I have been talking about it probably longer than two years. But, uh yeah. Now it's going to get changed out. I installed out that window as well. So it's a little bigger. I had to cut a little bit. I had to cut down about six inches because it was a bigger uh, window than the other previous one. So I'm actually, I'm filming with the Insta 364X right now. It's the first video I ever made with it. So uh, bear with me on the editing. I don't know how it would be, but uh, here, let's raise you guys up with a selfie stick oh and i also installed a uh insulated stove pipe and uh redid the flashing around that So me and my buddy Ben, Chopper Ben came out, 
And uh, so after I got the windows installed, the fire damn near burned my cabin to the ground. It was only about 20 kilometers away from here. Uh, my cousin Quentin's cabin wasn't so lucky. That's a pile of ash now. Uh, I think I made a video on that one quite a few years back. Cousin's cabin in the homeland, maybe it was called. Uh, I don't remember. We'll try and link it in there maybe if you want to see it. But anyway, so I figured the place was going to burn. And when I got evacuated, I was pretty sure it wasn't going to be here anymore, huh? Look at all the ants living in the roof. i got to get ant killer. That's gross. Look down here, there's a little highway of ants. Holy shit. There's always a few ants. <clears throat> well, they're not wood ants, but I'm going to have to get some ant color. Look at that. They must be living under the cabin. So anyways, yeah. I'll show you guys what we're up to inside. So anyways, me and Trapper Benji came out. I said, okay, I'm so grateful I still have a cabin left. I was like, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to sand the logs down and I'm going to look after this cabin and, and all the little work that I always wanted to do, I'm going to freaking do. Uh, so yeah, years ago when I built a cabin, I wanted to sand the logs down and I never, never did. That was fucking near 20 years ago and all. So anyways, me and Ben, that's what we've been doing. I got, uh, I bought a couple sanders. We just been burning through them and, uh, yeah, so we're going to clean them up nice. I don't know what I'm going to do in between the logs yet. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably chink them with something. And the same as on this side here. Uh, ben was working on this end over here. He should be back soon. Oh, look. There he is. He's coming down this trail. Rudy! Ben was working here on this side. And uh, that's as far as he got. We started last night. Uh, probably sanded for four or five hours. And we've been at it since about uh, 10.30 this morning. I think it's four o'clock right now. So we figure probably me and Ben could probably do the whole first room here in 10 days. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. There's Ben coming down the trail. Hey Ben, hey. making a YouTube video. You are? Yeah, say hi to the YouTube community. Hello YouTube community. It's been a few years since you've been on the channel, huh? Yeah. Since COVID. Since COVID, yeah. Hey, Ed, remember when you were in high level and someone recognized you? Yeah, that was amazing. What happened? Yeah. Tell the story. Well, I was passing through high level waiting for Andrew to come pick me up. And I told him the, the guy's name. He said, I thought I saw you before here, you were chatting with Andrew. I said, yeah, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What was his name again? Oh, that was, uh... What was his name again? From Yonder River. Oh, yeah, that was uh, Jay Wasp Colum from Meander River. We gave him a ride back to Meander River that night. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay guys, we're gonna get back to work. We got lots of sanding to do, at least another 10 days, probably be longer than that. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted how it goes. Okay.